Hi everyone, welcome back, another tutorial for you. I hope we're keeping on very well. Uh, in this lesson, I am, I'm gonna paint a nice beach scene. I was sent this photograph by a lady who wants me to paint it for her onto a canvas. So I thought, well, why not make a tutorial out of this? And we can just make it, you know, add a few bits here and there, some color. So um, I'm gonna swing the camera around here and show you what I'm painting. All right, I have it on my, my little phone here. Um, I'm gonna take the sky from a different painting which I did and uh, mix and match colors. So we'll have a bit of fun with this one. A nice, easy landscape this week. A nice, simple beach scene. Uh, with some nice, we, we learned some new different techniques with this now, today. So uh, thank you very much for, for watching and your support. Um, let's let's have a look let me show you what we have here so anyway first i have the canvas here it's 16 by 20 canvas with my colors laid out and i have the picture here let me zoom in now i don't know if you can make that out on camera or not but that's a nice simple scene of a beach um, I'm not exactly sure where it is now she said it to me there a while back but I can't remember but it's a lovely a lovely scene so that's it um, of course we can't forget our cup of strong tea can we we have to have that for every painting that's the most important part of any tutorial and a strong cup of tea so um, that's it nice and simple this week nice easy techniques for you to practice and try and again keep sending me your work I love seeing what you're doing and how you're getting on okay um, if you're looking for these brushes lovely green stubby brushes stephenconnor12 at gmail.com and I'll get them to you all right so listen go and get your canvas and your paints and a cup of tea or coffee and join me right back here again and let's start this painting all right here we are you're probably wondering what in the name of god is this uh well what happened was i was i was at the start in this tutorial and i found that the canvas was very very dry and the paint was really kind of soaking into the canvas so what i done was i turned off the video i gave it a rub with some turpentine and i went back over it then with a quick um primer it's just basically a uh, water-based undercoat with some water it's tinned out and a little bit of pva glue mixed in so what i done was i gave it an extra coat of primer and it's just after drying now i had a very light blue on there um, but it was it just wasn't moving around as well as I wanted it to move around if you know what I mean uh, So I primed it once more. So it has two coats of primer now, okay? Now I put some masking tape across the horizon line here. So this is the bottom of the sky and What I'm going to do is now you can see the photograph on your screen there And I'm just not happy with that kind of a sky So I want to just change it around a bit make it a bit more interesting So I'm going to put a photograph on your screen of a different sky this is what I painted a, a few weeks back. So that's a nice sky. I thought I'd go with this sky for this type of a painting. And maybe add some more clothes or something into it. But look, in general, that's the type of sky that I'm hoping to get. Um, now, colors. I have titanium white, cobalt blue, some black, cadmium yellow pale, some burnt umber, some Naples yellow, cadmium red, and burnt cyanide now I'm not 100% sure about the cadmium red I was thinking about maybe a little crimson uh, it's a bit more pink I was thinking about that I'm just not too sure what to do I really not now what I'll do I put a little bit of this out some tiny bit of crimson as well just on the palette there and it's only really for the shadows of the sky because I want a nice kind of what would you say pinky purpley kind of shadows so we can experiment now with these two reds and see how we get on so anyway look here we go let's just imagine we have a clear blank ca blank canvas let's just pretend this is not here and um, also let's take a sup of tea before we go brushes at the ready and what i want to do is i want to put a very pale uh, almost like a turquoise blue down at the very bottom of the horizon here so I'm going to use cobalt blue and a little Naples yellow. So let's dampen our brushes. Okay, so a little damp. I'm going to take some cobalt blue. And I'm going to take some white. 
Now the white does make it very thick and creamy again so I'm going to just dip the corner of my brush into the turpentine and make it a little bit more on the wet side and then I'm going to take a touch of Naples yellow and that will make it a bit of a kind of a greeny turquoisey kind of a blue and plenty of white into this now, lots and lots and lots of white so let's, uh, let's try that and see that's better, that's nice, oh, I like that colour isn't that lovely? It's a very bright kind of a turquoise blue. And I want this just in the horizon line just to kind of push everything off into the distance. So Naples yellow with cobalt is a lovely mix for this type of a sky. I mean you could go with this the whole way but I can see it's getting much kind of bluer as it goes up gradually. So a little more white and I want a nice creamy kind of consistency. I don't want it very thick, but I don't want it very watery either. Uh, somewhere in between the two. Let's take some blue. So you can see now what we have. And so that's moving around now much better on my canvas. And the trick is just to prime it well. And I would say what happened was I only gave it one coat of primer because I thought it might be okay. Um, and it was still a little dry, it was kind of soaking the paint in so I just added a second coat to it and it's made all the difference, it really has so going now all the way with this lovely blue we have, light blue and pull them right across left to right just to kind of take out some of the brush strokes doesn't matter if you still have a few, that's okay and let me see, now I'm going to start darkening it I will brighten it more down the bottom but let's just keep going with this so again cobalt blue and some white I won't use any tail blue in this today because tail blue is a very rich um, kind of ocean blue and I don't want to go too I don't want to go too rich today with this I just want to keep this nice and subtle nice and kind of bright and fresh and airy let's say so I don't want to go too rich with the with the blues so cobalt blue is a lovely alternative to um, French ultramarine even if we use that but I just kind of like these nice subtle colours it's just what I've kind of learned as I went along. Uh, this, you know, we all have our own tastes, don't we? we some, some people like very rich, vibrant colours. Other people like nice, subtle colours. I'm one of these subtle kind of artists. I like natural, subtle colours. And it's just personal preference, really, that's all. So we're going along nicely now with this. Cobalt blue and white. And I do have plenty of turpentine in this, but again, it's not it's not very very wet. It's just like a nice cream, nice thick cream, creamy kind of consistency. And this brush is fantastic. See, I can cup the brush in my hand like this, and I can kind of really flick it around. This would be much more difficult than cumbersome to do if you had a big long handle on the brush so it's ideal now for this kind of work there we go now let's just kind of soften this very gently with the tip of our brush because these are synthetic brushes they're very soft but at the same time they have a nice firmness about them I have used a lot of other um, synthetics in the past and I found some of them very firm and very springy so there does no give but these have a lot of give they really give you a lot of movement in the brush which is fantastic now let me have a look at that okay we're, we're going well I'm going to lighten the end of this now because I want a really nice bright light down at the bottom of this so I'm just going to dip my brush in my tissue or in my turpentine and give it a good clean Add some paper towel, okay, just like that, just to get the bulk of the blue out. And let's go into some Naples yellow, 
a bit much there now, so I'm just going to wipe it off on the tissue and some white and a touch of blue, only a touch but lots of white now in this lots and lots of white there we go and I'm just picking up clear white now on its own and I'm going to mix it on the canvas see, it's going to mix with the colour that's already there and lighten How are we looking there now? I don't know if that's kind of showing on camera very well, but I can see a nice kind of band of turquoise just along the bottom here. I'm just going to take some cobalt blue and I might take a touch of the natal crimson, a touch, just a touch, just to warm it slightly, and I'm going to put that colour just along the top and I want to darken it down slightly. and then warming it now at the same time as well there we go there, that's a bit, uh, that's a bit better now, clouds I'm going to put this brush down and I'm going to pick up another brush I think let me see now let me find my small green stubby brush my medium which is fantastic for this kind of stuff ah, there we go my medium green stubby brush ok and this now is wet but it's not too wet if you know what I mean it's not very very wet it's a very thin coat of paint so I'm now going to go with just paint on its own, no turpentine, nothing like that, no linseed oil, no thinners, nothing, just paint. So I'm going to take my brush, or any flat brush that you have, which is kind of splayed out slightly, it doesn't have to be flat like this, it can be splayed out like that, okay, slightly worn, and this will give us some lovely clouds. So what I'm going to do is, go right into my white, pick up a lot of white there now on this, see, on the tip of my brush. And let me just see, make sure this is recording because I'm constantly making mistakes with my tutorials. And I'm seeing one lovely cloud here kind of in the centre. And I'm going to bring it around and I'm flicking the brush down, downwards like this, okay? Lots of, li lots of little flicks. And come across like that. And it kind of disappears off. Then again, I'm going to pick up more white. And let's give this a nice curve here. And I'm just kind of flicking the brush now around here and there. But what I'm making sure is that the bottom of the cloud is going to be ho is horizontal. Alright? That's the important part. So it's sitting nicely up in the sky then. See? Now let's take some more white. And we have another nice cloud coming down here, like this. And I'm just very loosely pulling that cloud in. It's just a little wiggle of the brush, that's all. And we have another one coming like that, a nice strong cloud there. And it disappears off into some shadows then, doesn't it? So let's soften it back slightly. Now, I'm giving my brush a quick wipe on the tissue just to get the dirty colour off. Keeps it nice and clean. And then go back into some white. Now, I'm out of white. I've put more white on my palette. See, this is a nice, a nice fun kind of a sky, isn't it? Nice and simple. Nothing too kind of dramatic or anything. A nice, soft, simple sky. That's the kind of sky I love. So, we have our white going in there nicely. Um, what I might do is, on the horizon line there, well done by the horizon, I might bring one or two little flicks of cloud way off in the distance there, just into the painting. Okay. And it's basically just flicking a few lines here and there, that's all. 
and you can't even tell they're clothes really, but you know, they're there. Now, I have a bit of a line on my canvas here, I just want to try and get that out. It's a, a very strange kind of a line from the timber frame under the canvas. It's kind of catching the brush and it's creating this kind of a line on the canvas, which is very annoying. So I'm just going to try and soften some of that out, just a little. And it has been stressed, I, has, I, I have stressed it with the wedges behind the canvas and even still it's kind of sagging slightly. Now, okay, so we have some nice white there now, we'll go back over those in a minute. But for now I just want to get some nice shadow into these. And with the same brush, let's take some cobalt blue. I'll take a touch of uh, now cadmium red or natal crimson. I'm thinking the crimson because it's a nice pinkyish kind of a colour. And I might take a touch of burnt umber, just a touch with the tip of the brush, a very small touch. And let me go up here now and soften that from the back of the cloud. I'm going to soften it into the lighter side there, okay? Just by flicking the brush gently around. Like so. See? And go right all the way back then and go right up here out of the painting. Round in circles. And I'm going to pick up a bit more blue even. And start putting that in. So nice strong shadows now all the way across the back of that cloud. And I'm going to pick up more. I'm going to come across here with a little bit of a shadow look. Just flicking it in. Then I'm going to sit back, have a look. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'll make this one slightly bluer. So let's take a, t a tiny bit more blue in there. And in fact, I'll take a touch of black. Slight hint of the slightest little hint of black now in this. So it's not as pink as the one above it. Make sense? And I'm going to soften that gently with my brush into the white cloud. And then I sort of soften it away off into the distance so it's going to just sort of fizzle out and disappear. See? And again I'm going to sit back, take a look. Yep, I'm quite happy with that. So you see now how easy that was, just to create those two lovely dramatic clouds. Wasn't it so easy? And what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to darken this up here very slightly. I'm going to take some black. I'll take a hint of brown, the burnt umber that is. And I'm going to darken that very slightly with that colour. Just to add a bit of tone, different tones and contrasts into the cloud, into the shadow of the cloud, okay? I'm just basically wiggling the top of the brush around like this. In small circular motions, that's all I'm doing. Very, very simple. There we go. I can put a couple here and there in this one. Just a few now, that's all. And again, I'll sit back and take a look. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That's coming on nice. I'm going to darken under here slightly because this looks quite nice on the photograph, doesn't it? That little dark patch just under there. I like that. And we have a little shadow under this one as well, don't we? And I'm going to try and get that just with the edge of the brush. So it's nice and thin. Gently soften it around. There. Ah, we're going quite well now, aren't we? We are now in fairness. Okay, at this stage I'm going to take my soft brush and just gently soften out some of those brush strokes. Just gently, nice and gently. So 
So that's looking quite well now, isn't it? But I'm still going to put more clothes into this. Just a few more. And I'm going to go back to this brush now and give it a good clean on some tissue. I won't dip it in turpentine, I'll just take the bulk of the paint off look with my tissue. Just the bulk of it. It's still it's still dirty but it's okay, it's not very very dirty. Let's take some white and I'm going to take a touch of the crimson in there. Just a tiny touch. So it's a very whitey pink now, very very whitey pink. And I'm going to go up here and start just throwing some bits and pieces of clouds here and there, see? Then I'll wipe it again and I'll do the same thing again. Because there's a nice kind of a pink showing through up there in those clouds. It's a lovely kind of a little bit of pink here and there. Which is always nice in the sky, I think. And I'm just kind of wiggling it around here and there. And then I'll soften again. Very gently. Now I do want to get more texture in the sky and the whites. So what I might do now is I might just switch to a slightly smaller brush. Slightly smaller. Um, I'll go with a small flat one, okay? A little warm flat brush. And I'll take a little touch of Naples Yellow. Tiniest little bit. And plenty of white. And with that, I'm going to come up here now and I'm going to start putting some nice sunlight. Now it's a bit yellow, okay? There's too much yellow in that. So let me just get some more white. And I'm just going to create some nice sunlight kind of hitting these clouds up here. Just a little bit here and there. And then we kind of soften it back into that cloud there. Again, clean our brush every now and again, keep it nice and fresh. And I go over here and say there's another cloud catching some sun, just there. And let's just bring it down a little. And then on the bottom one as well, I'm going to put some of that white. Just, I'm going to create a little bit of texture on the clouds. I don't want the clouds to be too smooth, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to put some of this fresh, bright white through the clouds, just here and there. Look, see? And I'm pulling it down at a slight angle. And it just helps. It gives it a bit of movement doesn't it? Now, oh. how is she looking? Let's go across and let's add a little Look of white here and there on that side. And I put a little again on top of this one here. And a couple of little flicks around here and there just underneath. Just to suggest some bits of clouds floating around here and there. So now, let's soften some of these distant ones just back very slightly. Only just. I'm going to leave some of the brush marks on this one because they're quite nice. Because I want to catch some, uh, make some movement in it. So now, how was that? That's quite a nice sky, isn't it? 
Um, let me just have a quick look now. Oh, well, I'm brighten them again even more. So I'm going to take some white with a little bit of that Naples yellow. And I'm going to go up here and really go to town on this look. I'm going to really brighten that up now. There, that's a bit better, isn't it? Really catch, really catch the sun up in the sky. So I think we shall just maybe leave it at that for now. Um, there's a chance of overdoing it. There's a big risk of overdoing something like this. So I'm just going to, I think I'll just leave it as it is. I think that's quite nice. I just kind of pulled some of these back in to the sky very, very, very gently. There. Okay. We shall leave it at that. We can always come back later and touch it up if we really want to, isn't that right? So let's peel off our masking tape. Um, actually, you know what we will do? We have some land off in the distance, don't we? Now I'm just going to find that on my camera here. Yeah, we have a big bulk of land off in the distance, don't we? So I'm going to put that in and I will use the same brush I just used for the sky. Now, so it's a nice rich green, isn't it? But I'm going to make it kind of a little bit more distant. So some cobalt blue, some cadmium yellow. And into that, let's put a touch of Naples yellow. So a bit of turpentine now, but plenty of paint. Look, it's nice and thick and creamy. See that? And let's see now if we can get some of that. Okay, there we go. Uh, we could even kind of fade some of this into the background if we wanted to, but we don't have to. So it kind of comes down like that, doesn't it? There we go. Noise of this canvas is driving me crazy. Knock, 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 knock. I'll have to screw it down. Um, now let's take some burnt umber and let's darken that a little. As it comes down to right to the, the ocean, I'm going to darken it with that and take a touch of black as well, actually. So it's so far off along the distance that you really can't make out a lot of what's going on in this. It's just basically a big chunk of land off in the distance, isn't it? Now I've just taken some cadmium yellow there with some black just to make it slightly richer. And some more cadmium yellow with black for here to make it a little bit more green There's a bit more green coming into it here nice rich green I'm just kind of flicking the brush around here and there just to create a little movement in the land that's all Right, see? Just kind of messing around with it, that's all. Now I'm going to make it very dark at the bottom here. So I'm going to switch brushes to a slightly flatter brush, okay? Dampen it and dry it. And then I'm going to take some black with some burnt umber. And I'm going to come down here then and put some dark bits of land. Um, it could be like little bits of cliff, little rocks, that type of thing, just along the bottom there. Because I can see it's very dark, it's very black, isn't it? So I'm just kind of dabbing and flicking the brush here and there just to create an impression of some rocky land off in the distance. And don't make it the same all the way across. Look, you could even bring it up and down here and there. Just to suggest that it's kind of going up into that hill a little. You know, you don't have to be, don't have to be too perfect about it. 
and I'm going to darken this just here. Just remember, it's only an impression, it doesn't have to be absolutely spot on. But I am trying to get the feeling of it. And what I might do then is with my little pointy brush, take, let's say, a little touch of Naples yellow with some white, and does a hint of some little, I don't know, rocks perhaps, here and there, on the cliff. Or it could be little houses off in the distance, I'm not too sure. It's not a perfectly sharp paint, uh, picture, but it's, you know, just showing little bits of details here and there. That's all. Just to add a bit of interest into the painting. That's all I'm kind of trying to achieve now at this moment. Bit of Naples yellow as it comes down here. Okay, so you can see now what I mean. So that's what I was trying to kind of create. And with this brush I'll give it a clean and let's get some thick black and I'll even go down now with some real dark black just here and there. Some little dabs with the brush. Just going along here every here and every now and again just to make it really dark. And the water then will stand out lovely against this later. And let's give it a couple of dabs of black around here and there. It's just about creating, um, just creating a bit of detail, just to look at. Now it does come across a bit further, doesn't it? So let's pull it across a little bit more. I guess some cadmium yellow with some Naples. And I'm going to brighten it very slightly. Okay, I'm taking a bit of black for that. It's getting a bit, it's a bit rich there, isn't it? And we have another kind of bank of land that comes across here. Let's get some Naples yellow. And I'll take some burnt umber with a touch of white. So this land here then will kind of come down it'll almost kind of cut down to past the horizon line very slightly so I'll take off my masking tape there now in just a moment and we can continue this down oh how was about that, look at that lovely clean line isn't that wonderful is it masking tape just fantastic fantastic stuff So, with my pencil, I'm just going to do a very quick sketch of this, the way it kind of shoots out here slightly, kind of comes around, uh, comes across here, and then it turns, and it almost goes back in and out again. Would you agree? And we have a nice bank of land that kind of comes across here. It's kind of a rocky area, isn't it, with some grass on top? So let's... Um, Bring this down now slightly. Now, will I zoom in slightly for you so you can see perhaps a little bit better? Because you're very far away. Come in here and have a good look and see what I'm doing. So let's take some Naples yellow with some white, a touch of burnt umber, and let's bring this land, this bank of land now comes down and it kind of cuts across like this, doesn't it? A little. And there's a nice kind of a dark ridge. Let's take some burnt umber for that. Thick paint now on its own. And pull some of that down there. And in fact we could even take some black as well. And we have a very dark hill just behind there. Oh, we're going quite well. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Just nice, easy landscape. Nothing too kind of dramatic as such. 
just have a bit of fun with this practicing away um, I will take another small brush and there's a bit of kind of a sandy color just in the corner in there let's get some natal yellow with some white and let's just put that in there nice thick paint now And we also have some up in the corner up here, don't we? I forgot about that. So we have like a little bank of sand just across there off in the distance. Can you see that? You can, can't you? And I'll bring it just across in front of these cliffs here. So it kind of joins up with this beach here then, there's a small beach just there. And it all kind of joins up, doesn't it? There. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite nice now, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to strengthen that cliff face just there. And every now and again I'm just sitting back and having a fast look. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of detail to that land up there. So some Naples yellow, cadmium yellow. I'm just going to bring some light from that, just slightly. There, that's fine. Ah, so there we are, we're getting there now, aren't we? Now what I think I want to do is that kind of bank of land off over in the left here is kind of slightly bland for my liking. So I think I might just add a little more colour to that. Just a little. Um, I'll use a small brush and I'll take some cadmium yellow, maybe a touch of burnt cyanide and a little white. And I'm just going to put some of that colour just here and there. I'm kind of scraping it through with the brush. Now there's very little of this now actually going on. It's just a hint of colour. That's all. I've been very, very dry with the brush. So you see, I think that now just looks a bit better, doesn't it? It's not as dull, would you say?
So we're going to move on to this little rocky area here now. There's, I, I'm trying to see it on the photograph there. It's kind of, it's sort of just a rocky area by a beach. So for that, I'm going to take some, just some black, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of black, and some white, and it's like a touch of burnt umber as well. And that will give us a nice dark grey there. Let's put a nice grey in here. And it's going to get bigger and bigger as it comes forward to us. Okay, and then let's just take a bit of black and let's put a suggestion of shadows and stuff like that here and there on the rocks. I'll get to some to all the highlights, some of the finer details um, later on. I just want to kind of cover the canvas really, if you understand what I mean. Get everything blocked in. So there we are, we have that. Um, lighten that a bit up there as well, look. And then, I'm going to give that brush a quick clean. And we have a nice grassy area on top of that. Let's take some cadmium yellow, touch of blue, and some Naples yellow. And I'm kind of using this now quite dry. So it is kind of quite dry. It's not very watery. It's just pure paint on its own. And let me take some black with some yellow. That'll give a nice dark rich green, won't it? And I'll pull some of that down just a little. There, there we go. And I can touch that up with the fan brush later to give it some highlights, you know? Okay. There we go. Now I will take my pointy brush and maybe give those rocks a little detail, yes? So will I zoom back in here now for you just so you can see the rock. So just so you can see properly what I'm doing with this rock here. So um, just to create some darks and some lights. So I'm going to take some black with a little, little cobalt blue first and I'm going to create kind of the crevices of rocks and different little boulders, that type of thing coming down, okay? So it's going to get very dark on down by the bottom. It's going to be much darker. And in fact, I'll take some burnt umber. Move some burnt. I'm just kind of wiggling the brush around there and there. Nothing too kind of fancy or anything like that. Then I clean that brush. And I'm going to take some burnt sienna, a touch of burnt sienna, with some Naples yellow. And I'm going to give those a little bit of light. So just imagine now there's some light kind of catching the rocks here and there, okay? See, just a little hint. Then I'll clean the brush again. And I'll move over here. And in fact, I will take a touch of white as well. Let's give some nice bright highlights. So it's just a suggestion, you see? That's all it is. A very, very loose suggestion of rocks coming down. Now we're going to start doing the beach here. So I think I'll just focus on the picture for now and I'll explain to you what I'm doing. It's just basically a sandy colour, isn't it? So I'm going to fill that in right now with a lovely sandy colour and I'm going to just clean a brush that I have here. Um, now I have a bit of green on this, I don't want the green. So I better get a clean brush and if you're, if you're doing something like this and you're changing colour from one to, if, if you want to keep it nice and clean, I'd switch brushes and get a nice clean brush. So I'm going to dampen that brush now, and I am going to pick up some Naples yellow. In fact, you know what I'll do? I will zoom back slightly for you so you can see my mixing as well. Okay? Because I know you like seeing my mixing. So let's take some Naples yellow, and a nice sandy colour, some Naples yellow. A little burnt umber, just a little, and some white. And that will give you a nice soft sandy kind of a colour. You can add a touch of pink into it if you want. Um, you, know, you don't have to, but this is a nice kind of soft sandy colour. There we go, look at that. And let's put plenty of that across there. Now mix plenty of this up, okay? Don't be shy. So put plenty of white there, plenty of Naples yellow. You could in fact even take a touch of the crimson. 
Put a touch of pink in there if you want and that will warm it up. And this is only just kind of a base coat. I'm going to go over this again with some much thicker paint in a moment. Now I'm going to go in by my rocks here and I'm going to sort of flick it out here and there so it's catching some of the paint from the rocks, you see? And that's kind of, it helps to kind of soften together very, very, very gently. Only just. And let's finish it all. And let's just cover all of that now right in all the way down. And all I might do is take a touch of cadmium yellow and then lots of white. Because it is kind of quite whitey, isn't it? That beach. So let's just go with this for now. And we can lighten that way up then as we go. This is a nice fun painting now, isn't it? This is one that you can kind of try in your own time. I've just take your time and learn about different different techniques and uh, basically just kind of mess around really I suppose now, I've just taken a tiny bit of black into that there look tiny 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 little bit and I'm just making it stronger as it comes towards me only just just slightly so we have the base coat there now for our beach Okay, and what I'm going to do now is with my small flat brush, I'm just going to give it a quick clean. God, it's all, no, it's all green on that brush, so I'm going to leave that brush alone. I'll get a different brush. Um, okay, I'll take my. Hmm, let me see. Ah, a little flat brush here. I'll take this little flat brush, okay, and I'm going to take some white. So I'm going to take some lots of rich white. I want to lighten the sand up here because it's very yellow, isn't it? So I'm going to take some white and a touch of Naples yellow. Just a touch. Only a touch. Nice thick paint and I'm going to lighten it. And I'm just going to wiggle it from side to side here. There, and I'm lightening it, you see? Very gently. And I'm going to come across here and lighten this as well. Now this sand here is going to sort of merge into the water, if you know what I mean. So I don't want it too yellowy. And I'll show you now what I'm going to do in just a moment. With that. <laughs> Plenty of white there now. Let's make this nice and bright. Nice bright beach. There, so I'm just going to flick some white out from those rocks. And even picking up some of that colour as well. Nice subtle kind of, a subtle kind of a grey in the sand. There we go. I'm going to take my time now, I want to do it nice. So there's no rush. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some little bits of mauve into the sand just here and there, alright? So I'm just going to whiten it first with some white and that will avoid anything then going kind of green. So I'm going to put plenty of white through this yellowy colour now. Plenty of it. Loads of white. And then what I'm going to do with the same brush, I'll take a touch of blue and I'll take a touch of the pink now, cadmium red will do just fine as well, if that's all you have. And take some white. So we have a nice kind of a mauve colour there now. And let's pull that gently into the sand. And in fact, I'm going to kind of wiggle it slightly left and right. You see? And it's not going green. That's because I put plenty of white on the sand first and I'm putting plenty of red as well into the mix. So there's plenty of pink in this mix now. 
and you're going to soften it in very gently here and there so now you can kind of begin to see these lovely colors coming out so you would imagine sand is just simply a kind of a light yellowy brown color but you know it doesn't have to be you can put these lovely little colors kind of into the into the sand just here and there lovely warm colors now let's get a bit more blue in this and try that so i'm going to make it more bluey now and this could be the start of the water kind of lapping across the sand there you see so the water is just beginning to recede out and it's leaving its mark on the sand just here and there isn't that lovely there isn't that nice and I'll put a little bit of that just up here around the beach just there just create some little shadows here and there on the sand okay it's coming on nicely now isn't it so I'm going to darken the sand just here very slightly and I'm going to take some burnt umber and a little black and I'm just going to no it's not dark on the photograph but I want to create some nice contrast on the painting so I am I'm going to just pull some of this colour down very gently and soften it down into the sandy colour there okay just down in this corner here now we do have grass and stuff coming up in front of this but I just think this will be a nice addition to the painting there we go look at that lovely brown kind of dirty colour coming down onto the beach just here and there okay scraping very lightly across the sand next now next is the important part the water that's the important part of the painting for me um, so what I will do is I'll take another brush I'll clean this brush any old flat brush that you have just give it a quick clean so let me just dip it in here now and give it a good clean on my tissue and always have plenty of tissue at hand, very important. Lots and lots of tissue. So let me take now a nice colour. I don't want to overpower the painting, um, but I want a nice colour, a nice rich colour. So I might try, let's try some colours here now and see, see what happens. Some blue, okay, some cobalt blue, some Naples yellow, and that'll make it a bit greeny. And let's take a touch of crimson, not all crimson in there bit more blue now let me just try that that may be a bit that's a bit on the dull side for me so I'll take a bit more cobalt blue and add a touch of white as well there that's a bit better I think let's go along under this line here And lean down nice and hard and that will give you a nice straight edge now I'm going to lighten it as it comes in here slightly yeah because it does get very light as it comes in by the beach because the water begins to thin out so it becomes very sort of transparent very light kind of a blue Let me take some more blue in that. So, right down on by the sand here. Isn't that a lovely colour? So, and the photograph is quite bluey green, but I want to complement the sky with this, so I'm keeping the colours very, very similar. If I go a very rich bluey green on this, you know it's just going to look out of place it's just not going to look right so i'm going to just keep it like this for now we can always darken it if we need to 
more blue there now. So let's get more blue. And let's keep going with this. That's a bit bluer now, but that's grand, that's okay. And we go around our beach area here. And just kind of wiggle it as we go. Softening everything together as you go. Now it does get kind of uh, quite light right here, doesn't it? Because it appears the water is getting very thin and it's coming across the sand. So I'm going to make it nice and light. A bit of blue and a bit of white and a touch of the crimson. So you can see now that colour will sort of blend nice with the sand. And you can almost soften that into the sand colour now as well, just very gently, see? Understand? So it's softening together very gently. And you can see now, the bit of pink that's in the colour, it's helping to prevent anything from going green, because we have yellow with blue. Now it might go a slight green here and there, but for the most part, the pink is neutralising that that kind of green tone which you don't want on the beach so let's go down here now and take some more white some more blue and let's just finish this off here first and the paint is quite thin, I'm using very thin layers here I'm not using a thick paint at all so that's there um, I might darken it up here because as it goes further up to sea it tends to get a bit darker doesn't it so I'll take some black and some blue for that and I'll just gently pull that in very gently and soften it in I'll take a bit more and then some blue Okay, now how's that looking? That's quite nice, isn't it? So the next, now the next, um, the next part, I want to concentrate now on this line here. Lovely. I want to get some nice um, reflections and little ripples from the water, that type of stuff. So I'm going to try that next. And for that, I want a nice kind of a flat brush, a flat tipped brush. So I'll show you now what I mean. Um, even this one here, we could use this one, we give it a clean. If you have your medium stubby brush, that will do lovely as well if it's fairly new. So you'll have a nice sharp edge on that. So I'm going to clean this brush now, give it a good clean, and I'm going to take some... Let's have another photograph here now. Let's take some white, and tiny, tiny bit of blue. And I'm going to start putting in some little wheels. So I'm going to follow the shape now of this. And I'm just going to put in a few little wiggles here and there. Just to suggest some water kind of rippling around. And I'm following the direction of the sand. See what I mean? And then give it a clean, keep it clean, go back into your white. It's kind of a very whitey blue, that's all it is. And I'll go up here then and put a little bit of that across there, here and there. Okay, like so. And we come down here and put some along here. So I'm following the curve, the curvature of the sand here. You see? The curvature of that beach. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take some blue, some white, and a touch of the pink. 
slightly darker colour here now, and I'm going to put some of that through the sand as well. See? Little hint of blue there and there. So you can begin to see the kind of the beach beginning to form now. I'm taking now a little bit of brown and a bit of red and I'm going to put some of that just through as well here and there. Um, that then will kind of give you the impression of the sand showing through the water, so the dirty kind of sand. Just a hint of it, I'm barely scraping the canvas here now with this. It's only a tiny amount I'm putting on. There, that'll do that loads. And it's all helping now, it's working away, going, coming along nicely. Um, I'll clean that brush and with a nice flat tip, take some nice thick white paint. And let's create a little wave or two here and there, yes? So just a simple little wiggle. And then a little flick here and there, see? Little wiggle here and there, and then you could give it a little flick to flick it out and soften it back in. That's nice and subtle, isn't it? You see, it doesn't have to be a big, bold kind of a painting. It can be nice and subtle as well. Now, I will go up to this corner here, and I'm going to do a bit up there. So there's plenty of white up around here, isn't there? So lots of thick paint on your brush. And I'll just go along there. Again, I'm keeping the curve of the sand or the beach. See? Now we have a bit of a kind of a rock, don't we? A bit of a, a beach rock there, a big black rock. Let's take some burnt umber for that, just burnt umber for now, on its own, and let's put that in. So it kind of comes across down like this, doesn't it? Down into the water. And it comes kind of around like that. And then it's taken black and we'll just darken where it kind of meets the sand. Darken it down slightly. Now I'll zoom in again for you here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay? There. So I'm going to darken down around here. And then I am going to just kind of create a little reflection on the sand so it's reflecting a little bit here and there just with the point point of your brush see that does that make sense and then I'll take some crisp white paint out with this pointy brush crisp white and I just go along here and create some little ripples, perhaps where the water is kind of coming back down into the ocean. There. That's quite nice. Do you think we should make it bigger? I'm thinking it should be a little bit bigger. Just a bit more prominent, that's all. There now, that's better. And I might even put some light on that with some burnt sienna and a little Naples yellow. 
So now let's just give it some highlight. There. And that's done. So again. Nice. We've a little rock here. Let's put that in. So we have a small bit of a rock here. Just an impression of a little rock on the beach. Again, we give it some light. Nice highlight. And I'll then kind of soften it with some sandy colour. I must soften it into the sand. So it sits nicely on the sand, see? There. And let's just suggest some little... Um, ripples here and there on the sand just to give it a bit of interest okay there we go that's coming on nicely isn't it now what I want to do is take my fan brush and just give that some light along here so I'm going to take some cadmium yellow, nice crisp cadmium yellow, and a touch of burnt sienna, and just, see, give it that little bit of texture, just a little, and even up here as well, up on that hill, just a touch. Next of all, with this little brush, I'm going to put a little shadow here and there just on the waves with some dark blue. So a dark kind of a bluey brown colour, a bluey grey colour, just here and there, look. Again, not too much. Just a touch. Small, small, small touch. And then we have some people. Now let me zoom in for this. I'm going to put some people on the beach. There. Let's start off with a nice splash of red, cadmium red. And let's put a person walking with a nice red jumper. Like so. And then clean our brush. And let's get some brown, or some black even. And let's suggest a little... Little legs, you can't really see because they're so far off, aren't they? It's very, very difficult to see. Okay. And then a little shadow coming off of that. So let's take some burnt umber and create a little shadow. Pull it back. There, and it sits then a bit better in the, the sand, doesn't it? And I'm going to take some white and a touch of light here and there. Okay, just a very, very quick impression. And for the next one, I'm going to take some pure white, because that's what's on the photograph. And let's just indicate someone next to this person with a white top. And I go for, let's take some burnt sienna for the trousers very very loose suggestion see and again a little shadow like so now wasn't that lovely so off in the distance now let's just put in little suggestions of people walking along, very very subtle suggestions of people kind of walking along here and there, kind of minding their own business and let's go off 
for one and maybe just a black, a little bit of black outlay. Let's put one next to that one. And you know, you can hardly even make anything out because they're so far away. They really are. Um, you know, they're only just little. Now that person there, I'm going to put a little white cap because that head is very big, isn't it? Yeah. And let's put some. Sandy colour there for the arms and that type of stuff, okay I see. And just add a bit of bit of interest into the painting. And put a bit of yellow on this person here. And I suggest some people down here by this. Okay. It's just an impression, that's all, a very loose impression. Um, you know, there doesn't have to be anything there. It's just an impression of stuff kind of going on in the distance. Do you understand? And I put some, maybe one or two, just way, way off in the distance there. And a little dab of black here and there isn't that lovely you see nice and simple I like to keep things simple like that now there is one thing I wanted to do with the water off in the distance there I wanted to just go along with my knife my palette knife and just with a little dab of light colour, a little touch of white um, just add one or two little waves kind of breaking off in the distance, see? Uh, it just kind of gives it a bit of a shimmer that's all, and it helps break up the horizon as well see what I mean? I'll take my small brush and with some thick white paint let me see if you can see this, yeah you can I'm just going to go along here and put a couple of little wiggles with some thick white paint just to strengthen some of those water, the way it's coming in just to give it a bit more, a bit more body, see? Put a bit more on there as well. And we'll add a little bit more to this side. Just adding more thicker painting, that's all. Just, you know, giving you a bit more life. That's all. And we have some nice reeds and kind of grasses and stuff in the front here, don't we? So I'm thinking now about what to do with that. Um, I'm not too sure what's the best option. Hmm, I think we'll just go for it, will we? Let's try and get some nice grass in here. Let's start off with our big stubby brush and take some yellow, cadmium yellow with some black. What time have we got? We have 34 minutes, that's good. And I'm going to go along here and just dab that in there first, okay? So a nice rich colour. Let's take some brown as well. Burnt umber brown, uh, burnt umber yellow, and a little bit of black. 
and we only want to create just a bit of a land here, that's all. And come right down there and let's take some yellow with some white and flick that up, create some grasses. I'll take some black with some blue and I'll go down here and give this some nice dark colour in the corner here. And then I'll pull out some white and we get some nice detail on this now with our pointy brush. Small pointy brush, very very pointy one. And let's take some yellow, cadmium yellow and white. And let's put a few flicks of grass here and there on this. Now plenty of turpentine in this, don't be shy. And let's just have a bit of fun creating some nice grass on this. I'll get some darker ones in now as well, don't worry. I'll clean that now and I get some nice dark ones. Again plenty of turpentine, yellow and black. Loads of turpentine in this, make it nice and watery like a watercolour. And let's put a couple of those in there as well. How's that? And I'll even put some brown in as well. So it's just you know a nice impression, that's all. That's all they're after. Now I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna add some dark to these rocks and perhaps add a few to the sand. A couple coming down into the sand here and there, look. Just a couple of black marks, that's all. Small little marks. They're so far away you're not going to see much detail on these. They're very far away, you see it's just a little impression, that's all. Um, okay, let's have a look around now and see how we're doing. We're doing quite well with this, aren't we? So yeah, I think we're all pretty much almost there, aren't we? I would say we're pretty much finished with this. I'll just, you know, I'll have another look now and see if there's anything else I can improve on. What I was going to do actually was, I was going to add some more, a little bit more cloud into that sky. So I think I might do that. I'm just going to take a clean brush with some white and I might bring another because it looks funny having two clouds just in the centre there. So I'm going to start by just brightening this one a little. Okay. And I'm going to brighten that one just a little there. Um, perhaps brighten a little bit around here on that. And I might bring another one, perhaps, through here. Just to kind of break it up a little, yes? Because I was just kind of looking at it and uh, you know it just wasn't kind of I wasn't feeling it so I thought look I'll put another one in just here I'm thinking that's probably a bit nicer there we go last but not least what's the other very important part of our painting Yes, I think you know. Seagulls. We have to put some seagulls in, don't we? Let's take some white, thick white paint and let's put a couple of seagulls in here. Now, where could we go with these? Well, we have a nice empty spot up here. So we could try that, couldn't we? 
Let me see now if I can show you what I'm doing. Just a bendy V. One, two, three. Then clean our brush and take some black. Black on its own and a little flick on the edges. And a little dot for the legs. I'll make this one a little bit better here. And there we go. Last but not least, we have to sign, don't we? So I'm going to go down here and sign this on the sand. S. Conway, and I think that was a big success. I think that turned out lovely now, don't you? So let me just zoom in for you and show you how we got on. And I will add a little bit more to it now, just here and there, but not too much. So we have clouds. Nice, bright clouds, look. And we have three little seagulls. And we come down then, and we have some land off in the distance, okay. I just kept it nice and simple. And we came down into our beach. And you can see I did some little bits of knife work there. Just to give it a bit of interest, that's all. And we did our land. And we did a few people here and there. Just little dabs of colour, that's all it was. See? And a lovely little rock. And two more people walking along there in front. And that was it. And of course some grass. So there we go. And I think that turned out lovely, didn't it? Should we put a frame on this and see how it looks? Yes? I'm afraid in there. Look, let's try it. Let's put this flame up here and see how it looks. There, now, look at that. Just about. It's just about staying there. It'll do. And that's nice, isn't it? That turned out lovely. I'm very, very, very happy with that. Let me take this off. And I'll turn the camera to myself. And I will say thank you very much for watching, for tuning in. Uh, thank you. And don't, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest videos. Um, so thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoyed that. Now I hope you got some little hints and tips from that. Just keep it simple. And don't be afraid of making little mistakes. Okay? It's only a bit of paint. Um, just have a bit of fun. And try not to worry too much about little details, tiny details. Just keep them simple. Little dabs of paint, that's all. So, uh, yeah, just try it, see how you get on. Let me know how you're getting on with this as well. And uh, thank you so much for all your support on Patreon and indeed to all my subscribers as well. Thank you so much. You're, you're giving me huge confidence with every painting. So thank you so much for that. It's giving me a real boost. And it's unlearning as well as I go, which is great. So go off and get yourself a nice cuppa. Um, get some paints and stuff and have a bit of fun, have a bit of mess around with some colours. So I'll see you back again next week. Don't go anywhere. Um, God bless you all and talk soon.